Hello everyone, this is Harshul Singhal and I will be teaching you this Open Studio application. Uh, in 2019, I created this Open Studio course and this is 2023 and I have decided to uh, upgrade this course because there are so many new features. Um, so let's start. Uh, what I'll do, uh, I will share my screen with you. I have two computer screens on my computer. Uh, here at my end so I will be looking from here to here so don't get confused I will be definitely sharing my screen with you uh, so this first module is all about how to install this application on your computer uh, so what I'll do now I will share my screen with you so let's just do it uh, now you can see my uh, Internet Explorer on Google I will just search for open studio hit uh, enter and go to this first website openstudio.net uh, again open studio is a cross-platform collection of software tools for whole building energy modeling using energy plus and advanced daylighting analysis using radiance I won't go into all the details here because you can educate yourself just by going on this website so to save your time let's just click on this downloads here are multiple options here. The first one is Open Studio Release that will install only application, the Open Studio application for you. But you know what? Uh, I will just click on this Open Studio Coalition website. Uh, Open Studio Coalition is a newly formed organization which basically maintains and upgrade the Open Studio application. Uh, they are working simultaneously with NREL, Department of Energy and various different organizations to support this free freeware. Okay, so again, you should go on this website, their website and uh, read about what exactly they do. For now, I will just click on this installation and tutorial. So uh, I want to install this Open Studio application package uh, that contains various components for me. Uh, Open Studio application, resources and so many things. So what I will do, I will just cl uh, right click on it and open it in a new tab. Uh, it will open this GitHub page for you. Uh, so the latest version we, wa uh, we want to download here is 1.5.0 version which is definitely going to be a, a stable version I'm sure because uh, generally if the numbering of these versions is something like 1.5.0 they are latest and most stable version if sometimes you find their uh, numbering as something like 1.5.2 1.5.3 it, me it means that they are for developers they are still in like you know uh, like they still have new features but chances are uh, you might find some bugs here and there so what i try to do i always like to download something like the this number 1.5.0 or 1.4.0 totally up to you whatever you want to do but if you scroll down uh, you will find these assets uh, for different uh, operating systems for Mac, uh, for Ubuntu, I'm sure, and for Windows. For this uh, tutorial, I'm going to use uh, Windows uh, computer on my on my side. So I will just download this uh, .exe file. I will just click on it and save it on my computer. Uh, you can see it's already saved on my computer. Mm -hmm. So I will just replace it and it will download this application for me. I will go back to my Open Studio Coalition page and try to download this in, uh, SketchUp and Open Studio plugin. So, using this plugin, we can also uh, use SketchUp to create our geometry, which we will learn later during this course. So, click on this uh, uh, this link which says here, and uh, that should allow you to download this SketchUp plugin. This is 1.4.0 version. So download this plugin which is .rbz file or rbz file, ruby file. Uh, save it again uh, anywhere on your computer. I will save it in a folder on my computer which is kept on desktop. Uh, the folder's name is Open Studio Tutorial. And if I go back here, the third optional thing is to set up a building component library account or BCL account. So if you open this page, um, 
building component library basically has different resources different open studio measures different resources which i will definitely uh, be using during this course so don't worry about that if you are a bit confused what is that basically uh, back in days uh, you needed to provide a bcl key on your open studio application to create a bridge between this bcl database and your op open studio application on your computer but seems like the latest version doesn't need this key anymore so don't worry about this we can just go back to our uh, computer and see if we are able to download the application as well as sketch a plugin and we will just uh, um, install it first and we'll open the interface just to see what is happening there all right, so on my computer, you can see I have this Open Studio application and this SketchUp plugin. So what I will do first, I will just install this Open Studio plug application now. Uh, hit next. Uh, it will get saved on your C um, C drive. You can always uh, move it to some other drive if you want to, but for me, C works fine. And uh, either select all or you can just uh, keep this uh, Python bindings op option unchecked. Totally up to you. And uh, I would like to rename it to just Open Studio 1.5 because let's say if I have uh, different versions on my computer later, I can still know which one is what version. Okay. So click next again and install it. All right, so uh, it says click finish finish to exit the Open Studio application wizard. All right, finish it. And the next thing I will do is try to search for Open Studio application on my computer and click on it. And that should be able to open my Open Studio interface. Uh, once uh, it's live, I want to see whether I, I can actually access the measures on bcl database earlier like you know just to even access this uh, screen i needed to provide bcl key but looks like they have allowed us this time to just um, look at these or like you know access these measures without any bcl key uh, later in next uh, module i would ask you to download all these measures but for now let's just close it mm -hmm. Looks like this version or this Open Studio version is working fine. Let's just click on about and you can see the version is 1.5.0. All right, so close this. Now what I'll do, I'll just uh, open SketchUp. I have SketchUp Pro 2021 version installed and I think uh, for, uh, if I'm not wrong, if I go back to uh, uh, this Open Studio uh, plugin thing it should say that the current version is sketchup 2022 but it is advised to use sketchup 21 all right so perfect yeah i was right so basically the most stable sketchup version for uh, latest sketchup plugin is 2021 so if you want to use open studio on sketchup you should have 2021 version of sketchup and on on top of that you can install this sketchup plugin 1.4 so let me just open this sketchup plugin sketchup pro um all right so it should um open this interface and currently you can see i don't have any open studio uh, tabs or icons given here so what i'll do i'll just go to tools on actually not uh, <laughs> window i will go to extension manager and in extension manager there is an option which says install extension and click on this or look for this sketchup plugin that you downloaded just now which is basically a ruby file double click on it and uh, enable it if it's disabled at your end apply apply and now you can see uh, i was able to download these plugins or toolbars for open studio all right 
So once you see these new toolbars, it means that you have Open Studio application installed even on SketchUp and you can use this interface to create the geometry for energy modeling purpose. All right. So I will close this screen for you and uh, that's it for this um, this module, the first module. In the next one, we will talk more about uh, how to use these measures and how to access these different options in or different functions in OpenStudio interface. So thank you.